All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's Rewire Strike, and today I'm unboxing the Elite Atlas. I had a problem with my Elite Pros. Um, I'll show you just right now what I'm talking about of what broke on them. But um, so I got the Elite Atlas. Um, they were one hundred dollars less um, when I first bought the Elite Pros, which are two hundred bucks. But these are ninety nine dollars. Um, now the Elite Pros go for one hundred and fifty. Um, but the model hasn't really changed all that much, so they're still liable to break. Um, <clears throat> some of the major differences are the microphone and the headband. Other than that, um, these headphones are lighter weight, have the same 50mm nano clear speakers. But the only difference is apparently the tuning of it, which I got a problem, which, which is a problem uh, if you're looking for footsteps and whatnot. But the solution is right here in the super amp. So let's take a look at, at what this box has, right? All right. So here's the box. I, I did about three months, I did about a month worth of shopping online, looked at all these YouTube videos for unboxings and things like that. So here's the welcome card. And here are the headphones, and before I take those out, underneath here is the cave, uh, package and the cables. Alright, so let's take out everything of the boxes, shall we? This is basically everything that you get other than the little papers. So, you start out with the headphones, right? And the headphones, as you probably know, have this removable plate thing which kind of popped off the first time I took it. It's magnetic and you can change it and put like stickers on it or whatever. I don't fucking know. Um, here comes the headphones. This headphone is different than the Elite Pro. It's um, doesn't have a, it doesn't have the same end and it's a tougher plastic but I guess that's okay. So let's try there's the holes um, Alright, so this is a microphone one. It's labeled microphone. So I'm gonna figure out where the hole is. <laughs> Alright, now here's the uh, the cord for the Xbox or console with its own little mute thing. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, That's mute on, mute off, and it's got a volume switch. But the the cord itself has a. It's not plat. It's not rubber like the Elite Pros. It's a threaded. Uh, a threaded material, so it's a thread. It's pretty. It's a uh, braided, like a threaded, a braided thread. That goes across that, and it's a lot shorter too. Oh my god, this is like half the length of the Elite Pros, and I guess this is the PC one, right? So the PC one. Uh, has a female which is what you plug in you never actually unplug okay so it, they add together for PC excellent so this goes in alright so one side goes into the headphones right and we're gonna do this one that goes in there and this part goes in here and here you just plug in microphone and speaker okay so that's 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 all right that's that's <clears throat> the turtle beach elite pro had the um <clears throat> had the uh the pc connector had a usb so that that kind of sucks but i don't know that seems okay so let's i don't know what to do with this to be honest i'm just gonna put this back inside the box uh but yeah that's that's basically it um i'm gonna try out Sorry if my camera's shaky. Um, so yeah, these are the headphones. They're very lightweight. Um, all right, so if you all actually stay to the end of this video before you got tired of my crappy filmmaking, um, what broke on my Elite Pros was actually this part right here where these wires are. Right there. Uh, this little, this, this, 
plastic thing that my finger is rubbing up against, this upper part, which is what stops these wires from moving upward when I pull on it like that, this plastic piece uh, on the Elite Pros is very fragile and they snapped off. So this looks like a different improvement, looks a little bit tighter, maybe a little bit stronger, uh, which happens if you choose better plastic, uh, it's both lighter and stronger. Um, but this band, I didn't really care much for like the Elite Pro like sliding thing that they had. I never actually used it. So the fact that they put it with this metallic plastic, I don't know what this is, but it looks good. And I like it. It's very simple design. Uh, not too fancy. Um, I don't really care much for the gray, but I guess that matches the metallic things. It's got the same gel style of uh, thing in the 50 millimeter nano clear speakers. That's what they look like. <sighs> That's it. Um... That's all I got for you now. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you all next time.